Hi. Uh, first, I want to take a moment and just say thank you, Dr. Songer, for inviting me into your classroom today. Um, it's good to be back at USC, good to be back in this classroom. Um, I just want to go ahead and start off and introduce myself a little bit. My name is Kyle Warren. Um, I'm, I've just finished uh, my tenure with Teach for America. I was a 2010 core member in Oklahoma, where I worked with 19 of the most brilliant fifth graders I've ever met in my entire life. Um, just to kind of get us going, how many of you actually know about Teach for America? Okay, I see a few hands. Um, well, I'm actually here today to talk to you a little bit about what Teach for America actually is and really kind of encourage you to just give us a chance and really look into what it is that we have to offer. So that said, like, I just want to jump in and just say our mission right up front. One day, all children in this nation will have the opportunity to attain an excellent education. I think this is something that we, sitting in this room, often take for granted because we don't often realize exactly how fortunate we are to receive the education that we've had. So with that said, I want you to take the little slips of paper that I set aside for you at your desks. Go ahead and at those desks, write down the three jobs that you see yourself doing after leaving this year. Okay, now that you've done that, I need you to go ahead, fold up that piece of paper, and hand it to the person next to you. Now, I need each and every one of you to open up that slip of paper and tell me, raising your hand, if you think you could be any one of those three things listed by your partner. I see that many of you are raising your hands. And I think that's again a highlight of the opportunity that we've had given to us that so many children in America have been denied. You see, many of us have the fortune of actually being in this room and having had a community, a family, a support network that allowed us to get here. We can think of the teachers who constantly told us to go to college, make something of yourselves. But that's a luxury that I think doesn't necessarily apply to the entire world. Our challenge in Teach for America. Did you know that just 8% of students that come from low-income communities will actually graduate from college by the age of 24? 8%. In this room alone, there are over 100 people. Only 8 of you, at most, would actually walk out of this room with a college degree if you were from a low-income community. That is not educational equity. That is not all children receiving an excellent education. The very number of jails in many different communities of the United States is determined solely by the third grade reading level of low income male students. They actually determine how many jails they want to build within the next year based on third grade reading scores of solely low income community students. And last, less than one third of students from low-income communities who are performing highly in eighth grade will actually finish college. This is why Teach for America exists. The cycle of poverty has been truth for so many students, for my students. For this to be the lives that they have set for them before they even entered a classroom is absolutely inexcusable. And so I turn to you all as leaders in this community. You have had access, you've had privilege, you've had the opportunity to be on a path to success. You have been enabled to actually have an education, to be able to sit in this room. I was once like you. I thought, <laughs> I'm just going to go on and be a political science major, go on and actually do law school one day. But that wasn't enough for me. It wasn't until that I actually joined Teacher America that I found my true life's calling. And those are my kids, my students. So your charge today, I ask you to visit teachforamerica.org, learn about the achievement gap, and think about the number of lives you could impact with just two years in the classroom. Thank you.